Street War.
these dumb cars. The mad dog have teeth. Cool. Get some brothers over there tomorrow to run out some houses, you dig? And have uh, blood. Get some of them young boys on the corners before them bottles start their shit. Right, right. Those Chicano boys ain't gonna let you get away with taking over the barrio ice. They're gonna fight. They haven't got a chance. Right, bro? They had his bars. Cooking the hell with control the environment, taking pride and establishment. God, baby, for when no fathers are gonna take to the person that cuts them without a care of respect. More people die paid than the 187 and got tripping hard. Cause no one's coming to hell. is Lucius Washington, also known as ICE. He's a leader of the Condor Gang. The Condors are the largest black street gang there is in Los Angeles. Now, they're not just a, a gang of bad kids. They're actually organized business, and their business is selling drugs. Crack, maybe. Sanchez, tell me something I don't know, okay? This, sir, is Tommy Ramirez, also known as El Gancho, which means the hook. Now, he's a leader of those bangers of East L.A., they headquartered in the same neighborhood where I was raised, and I still live there, sir. In fact, when Tommy uh, was a kid, he used to deliver newspapers to my house. That's why, sir, I have a special interest in this homeboy. Manny, 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 it's very touching, very touching. That drive-by shooting last night, sir, in the uh, Los Bangas area was done by the Condors, according to our sources. Now, they tell us that the Condors are trying to take over the drug dealings in East L.A. If that's true, sir... Those bangers are going to fight back. We could easily have a street war in our hands. Frankly, Manny, I'd love a street war. It would just wipe out every one of these creeps forever. I have an idea, though, sir. Yeah? Well, you better get across quick, because I told you, I only have so much time, five more minutes for you. I've got to be the main speaker tonight at the mayor's roast. Politics, Manny. Everything is politics. Remember that. Yes, sir. All we need, sir, is a, is a summit meeting between these two gang leaders. It's okay. How are you going to get these animals to talk to each other? Well, I don't know too much about this kid, Ice, sir, but I do know about Tommy. Now, Tommy's different. He's a high school dropout, but reads all the time. He's obsessed with revolutions and, and dictators. Castro's this kid's hero. Castro. I'm pretty sure Tommy would welcome a, a public forum to express his ideas. And the payoff, sir, would be communication between the two gang leaders while the other kids are watching. Manny, we're getting into dangerous territory here. This El Gancho sounds like some kind of communist. Now, I don't need some mini mall Che Guevara turning this into a major political rally. These kids are bad enough as they are. We don't need them any worse. So you stay on top of it. Stay in control. Of course, sir. Look, there's a local uh, cable channel, MVTV, that has a music video format that's very popular with the kids. I already talked to the owner, and he's agreed to provide airtime for a meeting between the two gang leaders as a public service. Public service, yeah. That way, sir, all the kids in the area can watch at home. And just maybe, sir, just 
just maybe we can work this thing out peacefully. Otherwise, sir, I'm going to guarantee you we're going to have a bloodbath in our hands. I could see, Manny, that you got this big meeting all set up already, right? All I need is the approval from the department, and I'll contact ICE and El Gancho. Okay, Manny. I'll lay it on the mayor tonight. If he likes it, it'll go. But just remember, everything is politics, Manny. If it goes wrong, you better get used to being called scapegoat. Kids are here. have agreed to a TV conference. Now, their only condition is that their uh, guy, Ice, bring three of his top guys for support. All right? Now, my condition is no weapons. Entiendes? Agreed? I have some conditions, too, Holmes. All right. What are they? I think we should make this meeting important for everybody. You know, not just Los Bangers and the Gondors. Blacks and Chicanos, comprende? Hey, the idea is to work out a peace between the gangs. Stop the senseless killing, Tommy. I know that. I know what you want, but I'm telling you what I want right now. Go. All right, all right. What do you want? Well, since this is going to be on TV, I think we should include the whole community. You know, why not have some white, upper-class motherfuckers here, too? You know, some representatives of the Anglo-Saxon point of view. Hey, 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 hey. We're not going to turn this into a circus. You're missing the point, Tommy. No. No, I think you're missing the point, my friend. Gangbanger problem is not just in the barrio. It's also in Beverly Hills. This crack don't have no neighborhood answer. Today the shootings are here. Tomorrow, their fights will be on the west side. Anglos? They demand a supply, compadre. <laughs> Since when did El Gancho become a social worker? Eh? What are you up to, Ese? Eh? What are you up to, Holmes? <laughs> Let's just say I have some political aspirations. Is that right? Hey, no, I think this kid has got a very good idea. I mean, maybe we could get a celebrity to come down, a rock star or something. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get back on track here. Tommy, don't push this too far. Because if this meeting fails, it's back to an all-out police crackdown. <laughs> Crack down. Uh, maybe I can help. I want Lane Ralston. Lane Ralston? Hey, get serious, carnalito. You think a movie star's gonna come down here to a local cable channel like this? Wait a minute, Sanchez. Wait a minute. Our actors are always looking for publicity, news exposure. Why don't you let me make a couple of calls, see what I can arrange? Is that it, Tommy? 
Eh? Is that it? You add Lois Bangles to the list. And you've got it, Holmes. Lane Ralston and Lois Spangles, it'll guarantee network news coverage. I mean, what a break. Do you really think movie stars are going to come down here? Why not? I'll have our music show hostess contact the press agents. Pitch it. I don't know, Sonny. I don't know. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is hot. You just let me take care of everything. Michael Jackson got the name for his chimp, Bubbles. But enough of Michael. Kim James has a new video, and here it is. Sonny, you're not going to believe it. Find me. Lane Rawston just signed to play a cop in his next film. So? A cop who works with gangs. So his agent accepted our invitation to attend the gang meeting. They're going to do a big publicity spread about it to promote the movie. No shit. This is big. This is very big. What about Lois Spangles? Well, her manager accepted because she's up for the female lead in the same film. He thinks this will cinch it for her. <laughs> Hello, big time. I better call the cop and tell him that I pulled this off. Well, don't bother to thank me. Asshole. June, we're ready for you. your right. Camera two, take it back. About a foot. About a foot. Camera one, over to your right, uh, about an inch. An inch! Lane! Lane Ralston. Ah. Lane Ralston. I am so glad you could make it. Hi, I'm Sonny Mason. I'm the station owner. Great, great. I'm feeling kind of beat right now, so hey. I'd like to get to my dressing room. If I oh, there isn't any need for that. We're going to go on the air just as soon as the gang kids arrive. Uh, I just flew in from Thailand this hey, morning. Hey, great, Bangkok? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can't I know just what go I know. on the air. No, I want to introduce you to our popular hostess. Come on. Hey, this is Lane Ralston. This is Jim Tremaine. Great to meet you, Lane. Now, wait a second. I haven't been briefed on what's going on here. I mean, like, where am I sitting? I mean, are the cue cards? I mean, my ass is getting kicked here, okay? Sonny, there's Lois. Lois! Lane. You can sit right here. Lois. Lois Spangles. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, you are even more beautiful than real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sonny Mason. Hi, this Sonny. is my station. Have someone give me some more coffee, then. Right. It's nothing personal. I just can't believe I'm going right on the air. I have a problem with that. Oh, I'm so honored to be saying. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I loved your last sweet. movie. You did? I really did. I loved oh, I love whitewater so. rafting anyway. <laughs> so good. Well, I thank you. I'm sure you're, it's going to ask you something. You think so? This is Lane Ralston. This is Lois Hi, Lane. Yeah, I met Lois. Yeah, and this is Jim Tremaine. <clears throat> Come Hi. on, why don't you just sit right here? <laughs> okay. Ah, over here, Lois. Take 
Sex heads. Hi. <laughs> I'm still grateful that you came down. I know you've got a very busy schedule. Well, you know, not too busy for you, Sonny. Oh, thank you. This is an important <laughs> civic event, and I am so happy to have you here. Well, maybe you'll have me back again. Maybe we will. <laughs> <laughs> this is show business. <laughs> You told me there'd be no cops for you. It's just me and her, all right? Calmate, gancho. Excuse the door, all right? developed the music video for them. Oh, that is, that's such an exciting story. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. Um, uh, Joe, Joe, uh, one of the gangs has come. These are the Mexican kids, Los Bangers. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Real gang bang. <sighs> they don't look so tough. Ah, uh, just a bunch of kids that need to be straightened out. Right, Jim? You should listen to some of your station's newscasts, Sonny. Those kids kill people. They don't look so tough. Oh, this this is so exciting. I can't wait to ask them some questions. Did you know I was a social science manager at Harvard? Oh, thanks to your agent, the whole world knows. Detective Sanchez, why don't you come up here? We can get going. Get behind the camera. Don't move. Eh, entienden? Don't move. Hey, I think this Riff Castle's right, eh? Got those right? Got them fucked up right anyway, man. So let's go. Let's go. Hey, oh, shit. This is that homegirl, man. That, that sing that song, man. Check her out. Hey, que pasa, kid? <laughs> so this is uh, Detective Sanchez and uh, one of the gang leaders, El Gaucho. Oh, that's El Gaucho, isn't it? I'm June Tremaine, the host. And this is Lane Ralston and Lois Spangle. Oh, why don't you go ahead and have a seat right there at the head of the table? So, um, do you find that being a Mexican minority has forced you into this drug gang lifestyle? Uh, let's save the question for the show, all right, Lois? Uh, would you like some coffee, Donut? Donut video where she, got, on, that on, where she got that black dress? Homie, man, where she got that black dress? You can see her titties, man. That's the happening video, man. What? Wow. Well, she still look good, though. She's all right. So check this out. Ain't oh, that a fun, kid? All right. That's my girl. That's my home, right there. Come on, no. I got some people, yeah. Well, that's fine. Everything. Come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? All right, you got to score. Check 
the light. Out down. trying to accomplish here, so, uh, so just have fun with it, and, um, I'll guide you along. Does my hair look all right? Fine. Isn't that one of your wigs, Lois? What? You know, fake hair. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, MVTV is proud to present the first ever televised live group discussion regarding the street gang problem in Los Angeles with the actual undisputed leaders of the two largest and most powerful gangs, the Condors and Los Bangers. Representing the Condors, from South Central LA, we have Lucius Washington, better known as Ice. Yo, and this is my main woman, Peaches. <laughs> No need to stand for the introduction, guys. And representing the out chilling, uh, And representing the rival gang from the barrios of East L.A., we're happy to have with us Tommy El Gancho Ramirez. And also joining us, we're privileged to have the popular Lane Ralston and Lois Spangles. I understand that you have an upcoming film that deals with the L.A. gang problems, Lane. Yes, I do. That's true. Completely true. I portray a young maverick cop who tames a vicious drug dealing LA street gang. The title of the movie is Blood in the Streets, so all you kids can look for the movie next year in your theaters, so. It sounds like some bullshit, Jones. Let's try to watch our language. After all, this is live television. Sonny, would you tell her to get on with it? We'll get right into the gang problem discussion in a moment, but first, I would like to thank you, Louis, for your interest in this and attending our show today. Thank you, June. As you may know, I have a social science degree from Harvard, and I'm also up for the lead in uh, Lane's new movie, Blood in the Streets. So I am very interested in being a public service in any way that I can. Wonderful, Lois. We wish you all the best. Keep an eye on her, Lane. She may be your next leading lady. I sure hope so. <coughs> what do you guys think about a film being made depicting your gang life? I? <laughs> I think it's some bullshit. White folks cashing in on black folks again. Like they always do. Always. Yeah! Talk to the world, I. I don't cook, up, yeah! Boy? El Gancho. I thought we were here to talk about the street situation. Not promote some white bread yuppie exploitation film. Hey, man. I resent that. We know where you live. <laughs> we'll continue this volatile discussion right after a quick but important message. Stay with us. Our focus today, gang warfare. Come on, kids, please. Watch your language. This is television. June, can you stick to the subject, please? This is my show, and I know how to do a lead-in. Can I speak to you? Excuse me, Sonny. Can I speak to you? Come on. With all due respect, let me tell you a couple of things, all right? First of all, those guys back there have very short fuses. Yeah. To you, they might look like nice guys, but they are cold-blooded killers, and I assure you of that. Second of all, the chief of police, state senators, and half of Los Angeles is watching this with my ass on the line to see if it blows up in our face. Now, please, Jim, let them address their ideas to each other, okay? 
Okay. a good-looking man, Ice. I mean, just forget that you're unfortunate enough to have been born black. I mean, you look like a rock star, for gosh sakes. Just who the hell do you think you are? Bitch, you think folks are only fortunate if they're born white? Look, honey, I understand your hostility, but... No, I'll show you hostility, you pasty-ass, no-talent slut. Hey! Tell this girl to chill, or we're gonna have a heavy-duty problem here. Way to go, Lois. Must be that Harvard degree, huh? All right, everybody, let's get back in our seats. Let's all try to act like adults now. Oh, I told you it was going to be good, folks. We'll be right back for round two in just a moment. Stay with us. At our house, Mom's in charge of the turkey and the fixings. And Aunt Mary always comes. And she's in charge of sweet potatoes. All right, everybody, just calm down. Dad's After this commercial is over, I'm going to moderate before we lose it. Sonny, get this man off my set. Yeah. Don't worry, June. Sanchez, give me the knife. Let me lock it in the control booth. Yeah, good show, everybody. Tell me, boys. I got a bad feeling this was a big mistake. Tom. 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 You let Tom. 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 You into this. Oh, excuse me, uh, Captain. Uh, uh, sir. How'd you let Sanchez talk into this? Huh? With all due respect, sir. You know damn good and well, this is some explosive shit we're dealing with here. Now, I don't hey! Enough! I know damn good and well this is some explosive shit we're in here. And you know damn good and well I had some good reasons for letting Sanchez talk me into this fantasy. Well, I got a feeling we're going to find out the real reason sooner or later, huh? Can you find out 273? 273 dead, drive-by shootings. Sanchez is right. We're not going to get anything done with this gang stuff until we get some communication going between us and them and them with each other. What do we do now? We take them off the street one day. Next day, they're out on the street again, on bail, on the same corner they were on, pulling their crap the day before. Oh, I took a big chance here. I look like a bigger chance every minute. That maybe Sanchez could get some kind of dialogue going here. Some kind of... Oh, shit. That... Tom, in this particular space and time, what we have here is with this generation of gangbangers. we got to just kick their ass, man. What we've got here, Captain, is a generation of minorities who never benefited from the Kennedy-Johnson era because by the time they were born, all the social programs were cut off. These kids aren't going to work for a fast food place at minimum wage to come home and look at TV commercials showing all the things they can't afford and probably never have any hope of owning. What we really have here is a fair piece of the pie kind of war, sir. Hey! I don't want any more of your social sciences two lectures here. And I don't want any more of your crap either. So I all hope that Sanchez can pull something out of this mess. Oh, God, here we go again. Welcome back. Los Angeles Police Detective Sanchez of the LAPD Gang Squad is joining us for the rest of today's discussion. Detective Sanchez, 
Would you like to give us your views on why the L.A. gangs are out of control in this city and why the police have failed to control them? Well, I don't think the police have failed, June, like you say. I think they've done uh, an incredible job of uh, containing an, an explosive situation. And the only thing we hope for is uh, a communication between the two gang leaders uh, similar to what we're doing here today. That way we work out the problems. Uh, kind of like uh, talking out a family discussion, wouldn't you say? Not exactly, June. Why don't you have a seat, please? Take a seat, June. Thank you. Ice. Viewer of the Condors, can you explain your ideas of creating a peace in the streets? How you think we can stop the drive-by shootings, like the one that happened in Los Bangers area the other day? Hey, man, money. No, no, wait a minute. Can you explain to us how we can stop those drive-by shootings? You dudes figure out a way for these kids to make as much gold in the real world as they can selling crack, and you own something. You know, I hear that all the time. There is gold in the real world, and it's yours. But you don't have to sell drugs. Look at Karim Abdul-Jabbar, and look at uh, Stevie Wonder. Everybody ain't seven feet tall, or a genius songwriter, mister. Well, that's obvious. But still, school is an alternative. And without an education, you don't have a chance. What good is an education if you can't get a job? All right, all right, I agree with you. Job opportunity is a problem with minorities. I agree with you. <clears throat> Besides, you don't need an education to become rich in America. Look at me. I'm the perfect example. Self-made millionaire. A modern-day street entrepreneur, cuz. Oh. Tommy, what are your views? Eh? <laughs> Now you go down, you punk motherfucker. Keep my mouth shut. Hey, man, leave the chick alone. Hey, hold it right there, Holmes. There's no way you're gonna get away with this, I say. 
What makes you so sure, man, that this place isn't already surrounded by half of the LAPD, eh? Me vales. Sonny Mason here. Uh, uh, yes, sir. It's the police gang squad. They want to talk to the gang kids. Uh, sure, Sergeant Lamont. Well, where are you? Across the street? Oh, 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 the hotel? Yeah. Uh, you have your instructions, which are? I secure the roof hatch and drop the line down. My team drops down, goes to the stage door, and secures the hostages. All right, this is basically routine. Now, we don't know how many of them are down there. We don't know what they have. We know they have hostages. And we know they're probably going to be coked out. Uh, look, sir, uh, I got a better idea. I, I think this is safer, too. Why don't I send the remote unit across the street to you? That way you can communicate with them on the monitors. You can see them, they can see you. No, sir. Absolutely not. This is not a publicity stunt. No, I think this is a better way to go. These kids are killers. Look at what they're doing on the television. No, I, sir, I, I don't think they're going to want to talk to you on the telephone, believe me. And we're very nervous here that they're going to kill us all if you try and break in. I want a strike force. I want you to take that place. I want you to kick him in the ass right now. You got that? Got yeah. That. yeah. Right? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'll have that remote unit across the street right away. And uh, please, sir, you've got to promise me one thing. You can't give any other station access to you. All right, you've got it. Absolutely. Yeah! All right, this is enemy time. Send that mobile unit across the street now! All right, how are we doing here? How are we doing? How are we doing? And that's what it is, cause let five go ride. Do your thing and do it cool. You're not going for that, are you? Just a promotion for TV series. I don't think so. It looks real to me. Don't everybody go out there all at one time. See what I'm saying? Drive-by's gotta be done right. Decoy the cops to another part of town by dialing 911. Use their own shit against them, and chill. We gotta keep these streets cool if we want to deal, cuz without the rock, we can't make no bucks. Gang bangers are the future. You a condor, cuz? You see what I'm saying? You got that right, cuz. Motherfuckers got to get it right. Way of the future. Tommy, turn up the camera, sissy. Why don't you put this whole situation on hold, man, while you're still alive, is it, huh? Chill, Sanchez. Be already down, one of your homeboys. It's too late to stop now. You relax. And you might live through the day. We have to unite, Holmes. All these shootings of ourselves is working for them, not us. There's plenty of room for business in the streets. Let's face it, Holmes. I know that you are rich, and you know that I'm rich. We both got corporate lawyers. Now's the time to think of political power. Power, not greed. Superito. Watch that door so don't let nobody come in. Let's face it, Holmes. Go! 
Pancho! Pancho, come on! I don't care what you say, Bruce. This looks pretty real to me. Honey, I'm out of here. Now look, you gotta get me and my staff out of here. These kids are beginning to shoot the shit out of everybody and everything. And don't send any more of your stormtroopers in here. What are you trying to do, get us all murdered? Yeah, right. You see me now? Yeah, on the count of one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. And that's exactly my point. Cocaine is our common product. We have a common customer in the Anglos, as well as the man from our own people. If we were to stop fighting each other and unite, we could be unbeatable. All right there, Holmes. Gotch. What do you think you're trying to get away with here, man? Huh? This is ridiculous. The studio is completely surrounded. Give me the chance in hell to get away with this, pal. Tell you what. Let me uh, refresh your memory about a few things, huh? Kidnapping? Menacing drugs? It's already been broadcast already, man. Now, what would you like to do about these hostages, huh? I ain't a part of this. This crazy fucking Mexican did this shit on his own, man. I'm a legitimate businessman, and I want to call my lawyer. He ain't a part of this. None of the condors know about this shit. He's the crazy motherfucker. Shut up! Both of you! Just calm down, pal. Let's just kind of work through this. Okay? I can't stand anymore! Get away out of here! Get 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 out of here!
direction I'm in. It ain't gonna be deal, Scott. That fuckhead. I'm here for a reason. A reason you're gonna listen to whether you like it or not. Because if you don't, you're gonna revise a couple of movie stars, another cop, and if you fuck anybody else in the studio. You got that? Yeah, we're listening. I'm telling you, one more of your attempts to stop me, and everybody here dies. Go ahead, man. Take the fucking floor. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm making you an offer, Ice. We all know you're a drug dealer, so forget the bullshit businessman approach right now, okay, man? I need you to understand. We gotta do what we gotta do. This is our minute to make it happen in front of everybody. Little Doc. Give me the five pounds. Increase yourself to me, man. Okay? Let you and I talk about this. Anything else would be a little wacky, but... to share this with me, wouldn't you, huh? I want you to give everybody a little dog. <sighs> hey, they're making me do this, so this ain't no crime, right, Ice? On TV, I mean. <sighs> <laughs> okay, folks. This is your first TV crack commercial. You a crazy motherfucker, Claus. You see this? Cocaine is a product, and we sell it. If you didn't want it, we couldn't sell it. But you don't say no, you say yes. Now, since the candidate Sanchez has invited us here to discuss this issue on TV, I decided to make it count. We got so many homeboys into this, that if we can unite with a common goal, we can take over the political power of the streets where we live. Now go. Make sure the candles get a hit, Holmes. Fuck with the pipe, man. Orale, say. You can come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's your turn for the pipa. Come on, they say. Don't fuck me, man. Yes, uh, you talking to local Charlie? It's Pipa time. Yeah, 
Sunny here. Yeah, I got you. No, I don't have a live line out here. I can't get out. I can't get out anymore. Yeah. All right. Cops want me to stop broadcasting. I can't even get out to my lawyer. All right. All right. Take the live broadcast off the air. Go to music video. But keep on taping everything that's going on in the studio. These tapes are going to be worth millions. No, kid, sorry, sorry, it's not my fault. The police made me cut off the transmission. <laughs> Your wife! What the hell are you doing, man? We gotta stick together, Holmes. You want your own cars? The condors ain't a part of this insane shit. And there ain't no understanding between us. You're gonna take the fall, not us. You're not playing a smart ice. Not if you would just try to understand what I'm trying to get done right now, you would profit by it and put some paper in your pocket. Ice, there is strength and unity. And we can force these, these racist beats to give us political power if we make it happen legally, man. How's a dope dealer Chicano and a nigga are going to get political power? You dumb shit. Kid, I thought you were having fun. I mean, I'm only a cameraman. You know, I got a wife and I got a little baby. No. No! No! I got a little dog. Now, this is my
Not just gonna get able to bikers? No way, Jose. We're out of here as soon as the cops nail you. before someone else gets killed, eh? Shut up, Sanchez! I'm gonna get what I want. Terrorism works, I said. Why haven't you noticed the news lately? Say hey! Not TV, man. Look, I can't, kid. I can't do it. I can't. I mean, the police won't let me do it. I can't. I mean, it's not my fault. I can't do it. You want your hostess, Drew Tremaine, to be shot? something settled right now. I don't think you want the TV audience to see Lane Ralston get executed on June Tremaine's popular music video show. So you're gonna listen and do what I tell you. Got it? I'm listening. Look, look. Just chill out right here. And don't move, Peach, all right? Okay. Just be my guest, man. What's on your mind? God, they've killed June. Oh, my God. No, we don't have any choice. Keep this tape rolling. SWAT break in and take this place. Yeah, right. Can't allow celebrities to get murdered on national television. Any scumbags, huh? Doing a job for us, huh? You know what they're doing, my man? They're killing each other. Just like they do in the streets. Man. Give me a cigarette. Give me a cigarette. Come on. Hey, I don't know what the hell's going on down there. 
How's that leg? It's kind of numb. kind of hurts. It's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, Lane, I like the movies. No shit. And why are you doing this to me, man? Because you are you. You know, if all the little white bread little girls didn't love you, it wouldn't work, man. What wouldn't work, man? What are you trying to prove? That you can kill innocent people on TV, huh? You ain't innocent. You have people buy coke for you. I know. My people sell it to them. It's just for parties, man. What does that have to do with anything? It's got everything to do with it. You help support my economy. Every time you and your middle-class homeboys buy drugs from me, you're contributing to my political well-being. What are you talking about, man? Power. Political power. That's what this is all about. Before this day is over, I will have united the gangs into a political force. And I'm doing it over television. Just like the other political candidates, the crooks that run this country. That's insane, man. It won't work. Oh, yes, it will. Even if it costs me your life. Shit. This piece of shit is empty. That dead cop over there by the door's got a gun. That's nice, Peaches, but how the fuck do I get over there without this crazy Mexican shooting me? Where is Ice? I gotta get over to him. No, no, he's way the fuck over there. Ice! Shut up! God, shut the fuck up! That is cold. Hey, what are you calling? Just want that thing somewhere else, man. Where you been, bud? Hey, where you think I've been? Protecting my life, that's where I've been. Now, what's the plan? We gotta get out that door over there without getting off. That's the plan. But I say we off that local motherfucker out there first. Then we get the hell out of here. Word. Straight up, cuz. Where are them other two damn bottles at? I don't know. They're somewhere over there. No shit. Peaches, I swear you get dumber every day. You know what? Fuck you, nigga. Shut up, God. You, you know I'm sick and tired Shut of this shit. Up. You're on my Fuck fucking nerves. Now, I'll see what I can do to help you. I spent that for Tommy. It's too late, Holmes. I gotta go the whole nine yards now. Hey! Get that music off! I want the cut back on TV. Do it now. Or I'll off this little movie star. demands, political demands, and if they're not met, I'll have Lane Wilson, acclaimed film actor, executed on TV. You cops! The Condors ain't in on this. That crazy Chicano did this shit on his own. Just to prove it to you, I got Lois Bangles right here. I'm gonna release her, and then we'll turn ourselves in. Have your men at the front door ready to meet us. We're coming out.
dog. It was an accident. You're gonna wait until everybody's dead before you stop? Eh? I wish I had a first aid kit. It ain't nothing. What is going to happen to us, Ice? Just chill. I ain't going to let nothing happen to you, baby. I've never met anybody like you before. I mean, this, this is the most incredible... What you mean is that you've never known any niggas before. I mean, real niggas. Street niggas. I don't like that word, Ice. I don't know why not. You ain't a nigga. Shouldn't bother you with a shit. I don't, I don't get it. You shouldn't demean yourself like this. You, you are a handsome man. Maybe if you'd been given the chance... My chance is what I took, girl. I make just as much money as you, quiet as is kept. In my world, I'm just as successful. Maybe even more successful. Ain't that what counts? Let me tell you something, Miss America. I'm half Italian. Yeah, that's right. But when white folks see me, do you think they say, hey, he's an Italian who's part black? No. They say, the black boy. You understand? I mean, do you understand? You don't understand. That's why there's a war in the street, and that's why the crazy Vato is jumping the TV. You people have created a situation, and now you're gonna have to fucking deal on our level. Enough is enough. Even though I worked my way up to become as rich as you, probably even richer, I'm still a nigga. No matter what, Miss America. Stop calling me that. You feel that? It's like to be with each other. <laughs> you lost your cherry, Miss Celebrity Liberal. Just
Look, kid, I can't. I can't do it. The cops have told me to stay off the air. I'm going to be prosecuted. Do you have that? I can't do it, kid. Undo the handcuffs, Tommy. I can help you get their attention. And Ali. <laughs> but I like where you are, is it? Yo! That other condo. What's happening, Holmes? Don't fuck with me, man. I got laid Ralston over here. You're the only one left. <laughs> ice has been iced. Lamont, the kid wants to go back on the air. What am I going to do? I can't stall him forever. Put this back on closed circuit. They don't think we're going out live. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Put the action back on broadcast. I'll tell him I made a mistake later. Friend, we're going to settle this business. What's the other condor's name? Oscar. Oscar! Get out of here right now, man! We're going to have a summit meeting on television. The police will moderate. Sit down, I'm here. I need a doctor, man. I don't give a shit! Shut up! <laughs> Pretend like you're in a movie, asshole. Come on, let the little faggot sit down, man. It's just us now. Us against them. Man, they're going to kill us. Shut up. Or else I will kill you, bitch. You ready to work a deal, Holmes? Hey, Sidney Slew! Where are you? We're out of there. Just leave us alone. Just relax, man. We ain't gonna hurt you. Five minutes, Gotch. Exactly five minutes to surrender the remaining hostages. Otherwise, I'm going to storm the building by force. <laughs> nice buddies you got there, Holmes. They're going to get you killed. All you people out there, all you viewers, you are the witness to all the police handling the situation. Tommy, Tommy, for God's sake, sister. Let me loose, Jesse. Let me loose and I'll help you stop this insanity. Get exactly five minutes, Gotch. No, oh, God, no. The police are actually provoking me to kill the fucking movie stars. Why don't you just let him say what he's got to say, huh? Let him talk. You got four minutes, Gotch. The order has come from downtown. Oscar, can you speak for the condors now that Ice is dead? Yeah, he can. He can speak. Yeah, I guess. Why? I want the Gunners and Los Bangers to stop fighting each other and unite. I want all the gangbangers in the city to unite under one leadership. All right, let's unite. Now, can we get the fuck out of here? Please let us go. We will unite. Do you hear that, cops? Do you understand what that means? If all the gangbangers in the city unite, with everybody out there as a witness to this historic event, I'm going to make a deal with the cops. What's the deal, Gotch? I'll release all these hostages in the building back to you if you'll agree in front of the TV audience to these terms. I want all gang members of any gangs that are in jail to be released immediately and all charges dropped. I want amnesty for me and my partners here. I want those bangers to be recognized as a political party all 50,000 gang members of any gang able to vote. Five to one, they don't pull it off. Where do you think where I'm coming from, homeboys out there watching? If you all unite and vote me into office as a district representative, we can have political power. He's going to be our next president. And we can change laws and shit to the way we want it, to the way we want to live. Not the way these pig fucks make us live. We gonna take the power card. That dude is bad. Hey, motherfucker, I took this TV station. I can take the city. Unite behind me.
would agree to his terms. You gotta be kidding. I said agree, not keep the terms. I get it. The old bait and switch routine. I guess we got no choice. Not if we're gonna save the hostages. Hey, guys. I'm gonna agree to your terms. Now, while we work out how you won't let the hostages go, okay? Really? You gonna make this deal in front of John Q. Public? Are you for real? You got my word on it, man. Let's just work out the rest of the deal. Okay. I want an armored car backed up to the studio entrance. No cops. We need the studio people here, but we take two movie people with us. You gonna do what? Where are you gonna take them, man? My lawyer's house. When we're safely in my lawyer's house, I'll let Leighton Lois free. Well, I want a doctor there, in the house, okay? Shut up! You know, you say one more word, and I'll stick a little Charlie on you. But, but, but that isn't, that isn't fair. <laughs> if life was fair, your mother would have had an abortion. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Don't blow it now, I say. You're almost out of here. Come on, Nessie. Let's get out of here, man. I'm all out of booyah and everything. Gotcha. How many cards on this way? Just take it easy. I ain't gonna take it easy! Just get that down here! I think you'll be here right away. Matter of fact, in a couple of minutes. Just be calm, man. Well, you viewers, you are the witness to this deal. I call on all gangbangers across the whole United States to come together. We can run this whole motherfucking nation. We must unite. Yeah. Okay. El Gancho, the armored car's here. What? How do you get here so fast? Hey, my man. There's a little armored car service right down the street. I don't trust you. Come on, they say. Let's get out of here, man. Tommy, they're telling you the truth, they say. Uncuff me, man. Look, we got a deal now. Can we get the hell out of here? Are we moving or what, man? Tommy, Tommy. Uncuff me, and I'll help you get out of here, I say. Come on. Don't tell anything, Holmes. Tell me, take me as a hostage. Let the others go, man. Orale. No deal, Sanchez. Okay! Let's go! Quite a show, eh, folks? Let's hope it doesn't turn into a TV series. All you gangbangers out there, don't forget to vote for me. Muévele, Sánchez. Vamos. Get a video camera out there right now.